So after his resurrection, Jesus spent 40 days with his disciples. And we aren't given a lot of details into what those days were and what they involved. Um, but we do know that throughout that time, uh, he met with his disciples. He probably passed on to them uh, kind of some, uh, some extra teaching, some other uh, things that they needed to know. Because as he was getting ready to leave, to go back to the Father, they were going to be the ones charged with carrying on his mission. And so uh, from time to time, they would meet, and the time drew near that he was going to, to go back to the Father. And so they were uh, together uh, on the Mount of Olives, which was a mountain just to uh, the east of Jerusalem. And that's where uh, you often find uh, Gethsemane, and it's where uh, that was Jesus' little uh, Judean getaway. When the, he and the disciples wanted to get out of the crowds and get away and, and spend time together, a lot of times they'd go to the Mount of Olives. And they'd, uh, it was, it's a little bit taller than uh, South Mountain, which you see outside uh, the, uh, the doors of the church here. Uh, but they went up to, uh, on this particular day, they were on, on the top of Mount of Olives. And they were there and they are talking, and Jesus was sharing with them. And he said, uh, he said these things, he goes, All authority and heaven on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, and baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I will be with you always, even to the end of the age. We call this the Great Commission. This is Jesus' final marching orders to his disciples. That, uh, the, the authority that has been given to him, he's passing on to them. And with that authority that he's been giving, he is charging them to do something very specific, to go and make disciples. In the three and a half years that Jesus has been with them, he has discipled them, he has shown them who God is, he has taught them and, and helped them walk in this new faith. And now, as he goes back to the Father, after he's accomplished his mission, he now turns the next step over to them, to go and to make disciples, to make disciples, to make learners, to make followers. Followers of themselves? No. Followers of him. And how are they to do that? First of all, they were to go. It was, it was not a, a, a sit-still kind of commission. It was a going kind of commission. It was something you, do, you did on the move as you went. He also commanded them to baptize. And he, he, baptism is, is this symbol. It's this moment. It's, it's key to our faith. That we identify ourselves with Jesus. We identify ourselves with his death, burial, and resurrection. So baptism is very significant and an important part of our faith. But not just that. Because that's not the end, that's not the, the finish line. It's where the beginning, he says, teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And so it's this lifelong pursuit. So we're to go and we're to help people become disciples of Jesus. We're to baptize them and to help them identify with the life and the walk of Jesus. And then we're to teach and keep on teaching them so that they may know more about him. It's a lifelong process. We never arrive. And so as Jesus goes, he passes on this job to his disciples. And all through the ages, it's been passed down to us that we too must go and make disciples of the generation given to us. So what are we going to do with the time that we have? So we need to trust that Jesus' words are true that he will be with us always to the very end of the age. So he's with us as we go and fulfill the mission he's given us. So go today and walk in his steps. Find someone near you, maybe, maybe not face-to-face -face or, or physically close as we, we would want to be, but maybe a phone call, maybe FaceTime, maybe a video chat, maybe just a letter. Encourage someone in their walk with Jesus today. I know that I love you guys. Look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Uh, look forward to seeing you uh, online this weekend at cchmd.com slash live. I know that I love you guys. I'm praying for you. Have a great day.